just gave us an update on yesterday's shooting at UC Hospital. You'll remember police say a gunman shot a security guard before turning the gun on himself. Nine of your sides, Ryan Houston, was at that press conference. He joins us now live with an update. A Cincinnati police chief, Elliot Isaac, showed us the surveillance video of the shooting that happened yesterday at University Health. We want to warn you what you are about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. Let's take a look at that video. Now, uh, police chief Elliot Isaac says Isaiah Curry walked into the hospital and an unarmed guard stopped him. Mr. Curry entered or tried to empty his pockets to go through a metal detector. He rushed through the metal detector and drew two handguns from his pockets. The security guard fought with Curry and he shot the guard twice in the torso. The security officer had to run for his life after being shot and we're told Mr. Curry chased the security officer and shot at him again. Mr. Curry walked to his car and realized uh, he left his keys or something near the metal detector. So he goes back into University Hospital and we're told another nearby officer, a CPD officer, heard the call go out, went to the hospital, and that's when Mr. Curry shot at the CPD officer who was not injured. Take a listen to what Chief Elliot Isaac had to say about the gunman. This was a violent individual, uh, something we should certainly be concerned about. But, but I think very, very obviously there were some, some mental health issues here as well. Uh, now, we found out that Mr. Curry was out on bond and released on December 14th. He has a long list of uh, charges and a long criminal history. Uh, Police Chief Elliot Isaac has some very strong words to say about the gunman, and we will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest on 9 on your side at 4, 5, and 6. In Cincinnati, Ryan Houston, 9 on your side.